Hey guys, I'm California architect Steve Brundell. Thanks to support and encouragement from my parents and an obsession with houses, I chose this fascinating profession. You see, I grew up in a wealthy but dusty West Texas oil town, and more than a few residents were able to afford to build spectacular homes. Nearly every Sunday afternoon as I was growing up, my parents and I would hop into the car and drive around to look at the new houses under construction and also visit a few others that were on the market. I was in heaven. Since that time, I went to architecture school in Texas, studied in Europe, and have lived on the east and west coast of the United States. What I have discovered is that marvelous architecture surrounds us no matter where we live. If you also love this topic, join me on The Sunday Drive, a journey to discover what defines the architecture of a house and from where its inspiration stems. On The Sunday Drive this week, we found this fantastic four-square prairie-style house in Long Beach, California. The four-square is a type of house as opposed to a style. The form of the building defines the term four-square. This example has been given prairie-style detail. You can find four-square houses styled in colonial revival, neoclassical, and craftsmen across the United States. The distinction of the four-square is the configuration of four rooms stacked for each floor, establishing a plan and a nearly square layout with exteriors in a simple two-story form with equal rectangular elevations. The prairie style developed early in the 20th century in the Midwest before interpretation spread to other parts of the country. It then receded from favor for the 1920s and has since been replicated in few numbers across the United States. However, the prairie style provided inspiration for subsequent styles such as the craftsman and ranch. A strong reverence for the style continues to present day. Prairie architecture foreshadowed the expansion of the suburbs and the sprawling layouts of suburban residential architecture. Prairie-style houses blended into the landscape with low-sloped, hipped roofs that hug and lay inconspicuously over the ground. Windows and doors set into repetitive groups open generously to the exterior. As intended by the original architects, prairie designs respect human scale by keeping elements low and accessible and in a consistent order. The prairie style on this Long Beach house illustrates a generic interpretation where a common form receives the architecture established by landmark and custom homes designed elsewhere by prominent architects. The prairie style originates from the Midwestern city of Chicago by way of Frank Lloyd Wright and several of his colleagues. They developed a fresh way to design a house rooted in modern architecture without reference to past styles. This group of architects has since become known as the Prairie School. Their efforts deliver a uniquely new American architecture. Contrast the linear and contemporary lines of the Prairie style with the flamboyant Victorian era houses that preceded them, and you can see how striking this new style seemed at the time. The Prairie School architects were responding to several cultural influences, including the arts and crafts movement with its emphasis on natural materials. The study of Japanese architecture and its study of intricate wooden detail and the birth of modernism in the industrial age. The architect's designs employ machined natural materials utilized in a restrained decorative fashion, as well as introducing the open and flowing floor plan, a novelty for that time. The first trait noticeable on this Long Beach house is the broad second floor E tracing unbroken or interrupted around the perimeter of the house. The first floor porch roof extends to the left, creating a porticochere, sharing the same confident single horizontal E line of the second floor roof. A contrasting windowsill and header trim wraps the entire elevation, contributing further to the horizontal emphasis of the scheme. As well, porch piers capped with a similar detail echo those other horizontal elements. Though the house is large, it appears to hug its narrow lot with its low-hipped roof. Casement windows grouped into repetitive series comply with the prairie theme originated in the Midwest by the Prairie School architects of the early 1900s. You will notice that two casement windows flank picture windows at key rooms, which allows occupants an airy view outward. The two flower pots in the foreground more appropriately belong on the pedestals behind them. However, a contemporary shape for them would be more suitable for the modern architecture of this design. Unique characteristics of this example include the second floor balcony 
disguised by the porch roof. Also, stucco cladding wraps the entire structure. Most Midwest examples employ brick as the primary exterior finish, but this is California and brick is rarely used. The large hipped dormer in the attic is a trait found in many other four square houses. The prairie style can be either symmetrical or asymmetrical. This prairie style four square Long Beach house is almost symmetrical in front elevation, with the exception of the porte cochere and the extension of the room under the right side of the porch roof. The prairie style aesthetic applied to this Long Beach house delivers a confident contemporary impression. Imagine comparing this Victorian era Queen Anne to this prairie style house in 1910 to comprehend how striking it was for its time.